Welcome to The Wine Reviewer. My name is Will, where I do tech unboxing, tech reviews, and tech tutorials. And in today's episode, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to back up your hard drive in real time using the Windows 10 feature called Manage Storage Spaces. In the last video, I reviewed a disaster-proof hard drive from a company called IOSafe that is fireproof and waterproof. And I'm going to leave a link for it up here or here so you can take a look at that as well. I'm using the external hard drive to back up 20 years of pictures and videos of memories uh, from my time growing up to starting a family of my own. All right, so as you're watching the video and you find this video helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up, like the video, and consider subscribing to my channel for similar content. In my current setup, I have a dedicated four terabyte Seagate Barracuda to store all my important files and pictures and videos that will be mirrored to my external hard drive. I wanted to set up a real-time backup strategy so I don't have to manually remember to sync my hard drives together. In Windows 10, there is a feature to create virtual storage called Manage Stored Spaces. The Manage Stored Spaces feature allows me to set up once and then forget about it. Storage spaces help protect your data from drive failures and extend storage over time as you add drives to your PC. You can use storage spaces to group two or more drives together into a single storage pool and then use the capacity from that pool to create virtual drives called storage spaces. These storage spaces typically store two copies of your data, so if one of your data fails, you still have an intact copy of your data. If you run low on capacity, all you have to do is just add more drives to your storage pool. There are three options. Option number one is simple spaces, pulling more than one hard drive into one space. In this configuration, there is no backup or redundancy. So in the example here, I have three four terabyte hard drives and they pull into one 12 terabyte hard drive with no backups. Option number two is mirror spaces. It writes your data on both hard drives. If one hard drive fails or is corrupted, you'll have the other one as a backup. In this one, you need a minimum of two hard drives. And this, in the example below, I have two four terabyte hard drives and I've created one single virtual hard drive, which is four terabytes as well, because the information is being written on one hard drive and written on the other. So it's really a space of four hard terabytes. And option number three is parity spaces. It writes multiple copies of data across several hard drives. You need a minimum of three drives for this to work. It means part of your file or copy of the file is spread out across multiple drives. In the search function of your taskbar, type in Manage Storage Space. Select Manage Storage Spaces. Select Create a New Pool and Storage. Here is a public service announcement when you're creating a virtual drive using Manage Storage Spaces. Make sure the hard drives that you're using to create this space are empty. Make sure that you copied all existing folders and files onto a different hard drive. Is if you don't do that, when you create the space, it's completely gone. And there's actually a warning telling you that once a storage pool has been created, all the information on those drives are empty. I made the mistake of not checking my hard drive correctly before I put them into a storage drive. And I ended up losing two weeks of footage for my YouTube episodes coming up. And so that was on me. I, for some reason, I thought I copied it over, but apparently I didn't. Just make sure you have two empty drives when you set it up. In my case, I'm gonna select both my hard drives and select Create Pool. I'm going to rename the drive label to Backup so I know this drive is being mirrored to the IO safe. I left the file system as NTFS. However, I would recommend that you change it to REFS. This is Microsoft's newest file system that is meant to increase data integrity and reduce data corruption. I'll leave a link in the description below for the Microsoft article explaining what REFS is. Uh, on the screen, I just have a high level overview of what that is and you guys can read that. Resiliency type, I left it as two-way mirror. Resiliency type, I left it as two-way mirror. Size, I left it at default, which is 3.63 terabytes. After the pool is created, you can see each individual drive that is mirrored and makes up the pool. After the pool is created, you can see each individual drive that is mirrored that makes up the pool. You can see the IO safe external hard drive and the internal Seagate drive makes up this virtual pool. In Windows 10 File Manager, my virtual drive is labeled Backup. In Windows File Manager, my virtual drive labeled Backup appears with 3.63 terabytes. 
I'm going to copy one terabyte of pictures and videos to my backup drive, which will then automatically copy the files over to the IO Safe 4 terabyte hard drive. Just a warning, because it's set in a mere configuration, the process of copying files is slower than just straight up copying to a single drive. After the process is done, if I check Manage Storage Spaces again, you can see both drives are identical with 16.3% capacity used. All right, so that wraps up my overview and tutorial on Windows 10 feature of Manage Storage Spaces. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. I do respond to everyone's comments that do leave it. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time.